A question that I hear often is, what should I eat to lower my blood sugar? Or what are some good foods to eat to bring my blood sugar down and my A1C down? Well, I'm gonna to try to answer that question for you in my blood sugar test experiment series, where I'm gonna be testing out a bunch of different foods that are supposed to be good for our blood sugar and see if it actually works. And we are gonna start with the classic oatmeal. All right, so let's get into it. So I've heard time and time again that oatmeal is really good for your blood sugar. It's low on the glycemic index and it's supposed to be high in fiber. The American Diabetes Association also recommends it as part of their meal plan. And because it's whole grain, doctors always talk about the heart health benefits like reducing cholesterol. I think it's also high in things like magnesium and iron. So it kind of sounds like a dream, right? So let's test and see what it does to my blood sugar. All right, so I just took my oatmeal out of the microwave and this is what it looks like. Half a cup of dry oatmeal is supposed to be one serving. This serving looks very big and honestly, I'm scared about what this is gonna do to my blood sugar. Um, a lot of the recipes that I saw on those diabetes websites also said you can add some type of a sweetener on top. I didn't because I'm just already scared as it is. So I'm just gonna eat this really quick and then I'm gonna check in 30 minute intervals for two hours to see what my blood sugar does. So I'll be back. All right, it's been 30 minutes now, so let's go ahead and check my blood sugar. Symptoms wise, I'm not really feeling a lot. Usually my heart starts to race pretty quickly when I eat a lot of carbs, but I'm not feeling that super right now, which is a little surprising. So I have my lancet here, ouch, got my blood. Let's see, let's see, 30 minutes in. One nineteen, one nineteen. So it started off at 84, now it's up to 119. Let's check back in in another 30 minutes. Back for another check. Hmm, okay. 128, so it went up nine points in 30 minutes. Um, I guess the fact that I didn't put any like sugar or syrup or, or honey on top of my yogurt really made a difference. So I'm actually shocked so far that my blood sugar, I mean, technically it went up 44 points, which is pretty high, but to me, 128 still feels like it's the safe zone. So I'm a little bit surprised. I'm gonna see if my blood sugar keeps going up or if it's gonna come down in another 30 minutes. So this video isn't turning out how I expected. I was expecting my blood sugars to be really crazy high, but nope. So let me see where it's at at the hour and a half mark. I'll be happy if it's starting to come down. Got my blood. 118, okay. So the peak was 128 and it looks like it's starting to come back down, which I'm like kind of happy with. For some reason, I thought my blood sugar was going to spike up like crazy, like 160, even 140, but 128 is as high as it got. Last check here. Let's see if anything interesting happens. Let's see, let's see. 112. So my blood sugar is coming down slowly. Remember, I started at 84. It's been two hours now, and it's still elevated almost 30 points. Okay, so I, I don't like oatmeal right now. I don't like it for my blood sugar. I want it to be back down to baseline, and it is far from it. So yesterday's results were less than remarkable. The highest spike that my blood sugar saw was 128, which is still 44 points of a spike, which is pretty high and something that I don't want, but I really thought that it would spike higher. It might be because I didn't add any sweetener to it, but still 44 points, quite high, 128, not as high as I had thought. But I did want to still test out how my blood sugar would fare if I combined my oatmeal with protein and fat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat the same oatmeal, except this time I'm going to include half a scoop of 
collagen peptides, which is protein, and also a tablespoon of peanut butter because if oatmeal is as good as doctors say, I want to reap the cardiovascular benefits of that. So let's see if I can safely incorporate it into my diet and see how my blood sugar does when I pair it with the fat and the protein. All right, so I'll check back in with you guys 30 minutes after my meal. So it's been 30 minutes since I ate my oatmeal, so I'm gonna go ahead and check my blood sugar. A couple observations that I've made already is that um, the oatmeal that I ate yesterday felt a lot more filling, like I was struggling to eat every bite, whereas this time the half cup for some reason didn't seem like it was that much. And then I also am noticing more right now kind of my symptoms of high blood sugar rather than yesterday, which is strange because today's the day I paired it with fat and protein. So I don't know. Let's see what my blood sugar says. 118. I think it might've been the same as yesterday. I think my blood sugar was up at 118 at this point. So, so far, no difference in my blood sugar. Weird, even with the protein, collagen protein powder and the peanut butter. All right, let's see what happens in another 30 minutes. That's so strange. Testing again now at the hour mark. And I have to tell you, I am starving, like starving, starving, starving. My stomach is growling. So that oatmeal is kind of just going right through me. Okay, let's see where we're at. 117. So if my blood sugar is on the way down, that means that my blood sugar spike was to 118, which means that there's actually a difference happening here. Let's see what happens in another 30 minutes. I'm back for my 90 minute blood sugar check. My last reading was 117. And I'm hoping that my spike already happened and I'm on the way back down. <gasps> Whoa, 93, that's amazing. I'm almost back to baseline at the 90 minute mark. So the fat and the protein seems to be making a pretty big impact now at this point with my blood sugar. So that's actually really exciting. My last check of the day at the two hour mark is at 95. All right, so let's go ahead and review our findings. Now I had the oatmeal by itself, just with fruit, and then I had oatmeal with some added protein and fat. When I ate the oatmeal by itself, I started off at 84, that was my fasting. At the 30 minute mark, it went up to 119. Then at the hour mark, 128. At the hour and a half mark, 118. And then at two hours, I was back down to 112. Now, when I ate the oatmeal with the fat and the protein, I started off fasting at 88. It went up to 118, which was the spike at the 30 minute mark. Then at the one hour mark, I was down one point at 117. At the 90 minute mark, 93. And then at the two hour mark, 95. So adding the protein and the fat really made a difference. Honestly, in terms of satiety, satiety, in terms of satiety, for some reason, I was a lot hungrier when I ate it with the fat and the protein, but my numbers were amazing. I mean, 88 to 118 is a 30 point spike, which isn't ideal, but 118 is, you know, I'll take it. That is a good number. And it came right back down really quickly, which means my body was able to process it well. So the whole trick about adding protein and fat to your carbs, it really does work. I think this is proof of that. Now, am I gonna eat oatmeal as a regular part of my diet? Probably not, because honestly, because I didn't add any sweeteners, it was very bland, it wasn't tasty, and I didn't enjoy it either time. And that's why typically people add sweetener onto their oatmeal, because by itself, it just is really, really boring. So I know for myself that I'm not gonna add sweetener if I eat it, so then does it make me wanna eat oatmeal? No, not at all. Can I find other foods that are heart healthy, that contain whole grains and fiber and iron and magne magnesium and all of that? Yes probably, but I'll feel less like worried when I feed oatmeal to my kids, whether I add it into baked goods and things like that, because previously I was like, oh my gosh, oatmeal is supposed to be good for your blood sugar, but I heard the opposite, so I don't wanna feed it to my kids, but now I feel a little bit more okay about feeding oatmeal to my kids. So that's the conclusion. This was a really cool experiment. I mean, I didn't think that there would be that big of a difference when I add fat and protein to my oatmeal, but there really, really was. So this is a good takeaway, is whenever you're eating carbs, really make sure you're eating intentionally with the fat and the protein. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was informational and helpful for you. If you liked it, please go ahead and click the subscribe button because I'm gonna be testing out other foods that are supposed to be good for your blood sugar and we'll see if they actually are. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.